hi good morning today is tuesday it's the day after dr martin luther king's holiday so today is the first day that the kids are back and i am right now making copies in the copy room and i'm probably making it for the whole week i tried to do it last week but um something happened where I, um the copy machine was broken or something like that but i'm doing it now and after I just make some copies, I'll probably clean up in the classroom and get some other stuff done. And I will see you a little bit later. Bye-bye. Now I get to have a breather, basically. <laughs> I love having these breathers this time alone because I'm on my feet most of the day and I'm talking most of the day. So I love having this time right now. Now I'm basically going to... Um, organize my parent conferences. I want to have some, most of my parent conference with all of my students next week because they have their report cards last week and um, I'm putting it as a requirement that they, in order for them to get their child's report card, that they should come in with and conference with me. So um, most of them brought back their forms so I'm kind of going to come up with the schedule where I can let the parents know what time they can come in. So we can discuss their child's progress for the second quarter. At home, I'm looking rough. I'm looking rough. It was a long day. Usually after a break, I'm so relaxed during the break that when I woke up, I was so, so surprised that I was so tired. <laughs> I just did not want to get up and it was, it was raining too. Um, and so I'm actually on my way home right now and <laughs> and I will see you in the next. Hi, good morning. Today is Wednesday and it's a wet Wednesday. They actually, there's a delayed start to school. School is going to start at 10 a.m. and all, and my parents are texting me and other teachers are texting saying that um, there's a lot going on and around the school it's flooded like um, I had to like carefully go through but they warned us not to drive through to turn around but then I saw like lower cars going so it was safe but right now it's 7 15 so school is delayed and so I most of um, my other co-workers they just decided to stay home but I was already on the road so um, I just headed over here and I'm probably going to um, just organize some things because at first I wanted to go um, just somewhere else to, re to relax but it was just I wanted to be cautious it was flooded and um, a parent actually texted me a picture of the roads around her house and it was like super high almost to her door so um, I was surprised they didn't cancel school, but they just said we have a delayed start. And it's there's flash floods warnings until 8.15 a.m. And um, they're just telling us to stay indoors. So um, that's what's going on. So I won't see the kids probably until like later. And it's just going to be a... I probably, most of my students won't be here. They're already telling me that they're staying home. So um, um. yeah, that's how the day is starting so far with the rain, with flooding and with just um the weather being something else so i'll probably check in a little bit later here's the view of the playground drenched hi so it's still raining and not a lot of kids are here only like about 50 kids made it to school right now and it is nine o'clock some parents are opting to stay at home but a lot of parents are concerned because around the school it's flooded like it's really flooded and a lot of parents are concerned about that it's just not gonna be a normal day today and I'm just surprised that they just didn't cancel it you know just for safety reasons um, so right now I'm just going to be I was over there watching the kids they're watching a movie right now <laughs> since half of the staff is not here yet um, so I'll probably be printing out some um, small group materials and some small group stuff so I'll see you later Hi, good morning. Today is Monday, January 23rd. So, 
last week after that storm when it was all flooded, I started myself feeling sick and I ended up getting a severe cold on Thursday and Friday of last week, which is why I didn't record anything. I was just highly sick and I should have taken the day off. But I did not. And as you can see, I'm still a little bit stuffy. There's a lot going on out there. I have two, I have windows by my classroom and I can see what's going on outside and people can see what's going on in my classroom. But I was so sick and I'm getting over the sickness right now. I feel much better than I did last week. I scheduled all of my parent conferences for this week as well. And And right now, I am probably going to heat up this tea that I have in my David Buster mug. I have I have honey. I always put honey in it, and then I have my chamomile tea. This is what I drink during my downtime since I am sick right now. Because tea helps me. Oh, look at the camera. Tea helps me, if, um, especially when I'm relaxed. And I always have a mug and some honey, especially when there's honey in it. So that's what I'll be doing today. Drinking lots of fluids, drinking my tea. And hopefully I can get over the stuffy nose that I have right now. I will see you a bit later. Hi, so I am drinking my second batch of tea and it has been working well. Like the first batch I like put honey in it and it worked wonders and I think I'm back on track to like getting focused and um, getting my work done. So I have some... I just came in from talking with another first year teacher and we're just bouncing off ideas and she's just feeling, um, she's just feeling, you know, all these emotions and all these feelings and that comes with being a first year teacher, of course. And, and I was just, you know, trying to reassure her of her feelings and, you know, sharing my experiences, you know, being at a different school and district as well try to be positive and think about the positive things and not more of the negative, even though there are negative, negative things going on. But I try to focus on the positive and refocus on the things that matter and the things that are good, the things that are pure, basically, oh, taken from Philippians. <laughs> but um, I will probably see you a bit later. Bye. Hi, good morning. Today is Tuesday and I just finished a conference with a parent. I woke up early because she needed to conference with me before work and I was here at 6.45 right now. It's seven o'clock. This is our actual reporting time for teachers and um, because I was cramping a little bit this morning um i slept in just a tad bit and so i knew i would have this time right now to um do a quick devotion so i could start my day off right i always like to start it off right and i was actually reviewing the sermon notes that my pastor preached this past sunday he's been preaching in the book of Philippians and he broke down the chapters it's only four chapters of Philippians he broke it down um, this past Sunday and he said that um, basically chapter one um, teaches us to be faithful in prayer and in persecution chapter two asks us to be more like Jesus helps us to be more like Jesus and then chapter three 
Um, he said that we shouldn't glory in our human confidence and devote yourself to God's higher calling. And in chapter four, taught us about Christian comportment and contentment. And the focus was basically on Philippians chapter four, verses, well, verses four through, through eight. But um, I'm meditating and reflecting on verse eight. And I think I touched on it yesterday. <laughs> Um, and it says this, finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. And that's what I am going to practice on today, thinking about pure things, what is doing what is noble and what is right, and... I know that I'm going to charge myself to do this because I am cramping and if you know what that means, you know how I'm feeling. <laughs> and I again have my chamomile tea and my honey and that helps a lot with the cramps that I have. And it's not that bad because I've been eating healthier and I've been exercising so um, it's really not that bad. All I, all I am is just a little bit drowsy and, um, I want to take a nap more so and I try not to be in my feelings. So that's why I am meditating on this right now. Think about what is pure, what is noble, because I want to reflect that through my teachings and through my interactions with my coworkers and with my parents and, um, with the children as well. And so... I'm going to charge myself to do this, and um, I'm going to reflect on it. Well, I already reflected on it um, before I got on here. And so I'm just going to, yeah, I'm just going to go on about that day and just um, reflect on that word throughout the day as well. I will see you later. Hi, so that took way longer than expected for me to be making copies. Uh, half the time me making copies is actually fixing the copy machine. And so now I can, this should have been only taken five minutes and it took me about 20 minutes. But anyways, think about pure things, pure things, <laughs> like my tea and honey. And now I'm about to go on about my day. <laughs> I'll see y'all later.